In this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS High Sierra Public Beta on an unsupported Mac. Now, before you get started, you're going to need a couple things. Uh, first off, you're going to need the macOS High Sierra Public Beta Installer app. Um, that can either be obtained from the Mac App Store on a supported Mac, or I will provide a link to a copy that I've downloaded off the Mac App Store uh, using a supported machine and bundled into a DMG file. So you can see I have that on my uh, desktop right here. It's just a uh, DMG file, as you can see. Um, secondly, you're going to need a copy of a program that I've actually written called the macOS High Sierra Patcher. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the macOS Sierra Patcher, which is uh, the patcher that I wrote to install Sierra on unsupported Macs, um, this process will be nearly identical. So. Um, with that said, anything that did not work on your machine with Sierra, if you installed Sierra previously, will not work on High Sierra either. And High Sierra does add a few more incompatibilities, such as battery status not being shown on some machines. Um, on this machine specifically, the early 2008 MacBook Pro, um, I believe the trackpad no longer works as expected with the multi-touch gestures and whatnot. Um, the Wi-Fi cord, of course, doesn't the Wi-Fi card, of course, doesn't work uh, because that didn't work in Sierra unless you replaced it. Um, but um, yeah, there are other problems with other machines. But of course, uh, the patch will be updated over time as new patches are developed. And um, certain incompatibilities with High Sierra will be resolved, um, most likely. So um, to get started, you're going to need either a USB hard disk or a USB flash drive. Either will work just fine. Now, I'm pretty sure you should be able to use a uh, second partition on your hard disk to do this as well, um, but I'm not 100% sure of that due to a uh, weird root and SIP uh, protection or system integrity protection or whatnot. But um, for this process to work most reliably, I'd recommend that you use a USB drive of some kind. So in my case, as you can see, I've got an external hard drive connected here to the uh, USB port of the machine. So um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using for demonstration purposes. And uh, just for your information, uh, if you do decide to use a USB hard disk like this, it will be much, much faster than using a uh, flash drive because for some reason, uh, the write speed to most flash drives seems to be ridiculously slow. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and insert my uh, external hard drive to my USB port there. And uh, once it comes up on the desktop, I will show you what to do from there. All right, so as you can see, uh, the drive has come up. So what you want to do, if your drive isn't formatted, this step is more than likely optional because um, the patcher tool will format the drive anyway. But just to be safe in case it doesn't work, uh, I recommend uh, just going into here, select your drive or partition, click the Erase tab, ensure format is selected to macOS Extended Journal. And uh, if you're formatting the whole drive, ensure uh, GUID partition table is selected and go ahead and select erase. So uh, once the erasing process completes, I'll show you what to do from there. All right, let's go ahead and select done on that. Close out of disk utility. And uh, if you've downloaded the macOS High Sierra installer app uh, from my link and it comes in a DMG file, the first thing you're going to want to do is mount the DMG file by double clicking on it, just like this. And uh, you'll see the installer app right here. And it is, of course, 5 gigs in size. Now, in some machines, uh, if you downloaded the app from the Mac App Store, I've had uh, some machines download just a 7 megabyte uh, app file without any of the necessary resources. Uh, that app file will, of course, not work with the uh, High Sierra Patcher, so you're going to want to make sure that you do have the full 5.18 gig app, as I do. So once you've gotten that, you're going to want to open the macOS High Sierra Patcher, like so. And uh, if you get this message, all you need to do is click OK, right click on it, click Open, and, uh, and then you'll have an open option there. So once the High Sierra Patcher app opens, we'll take a little bit of time, just because this machine has a uh, 5400 RPM hard disk. So once this opens, I'll go ahead and resume the video. All right, so once the High Sierra Patcher opens, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, click on this uh, Sierra installer icon here, 
and you're going to want to browse for your installed macOS High Sierra app. So in my case it was inside the DMG. So you can see the app right here. It does come up as 5.18 gigs as I showed you earlier. So you're just going to select open on this. Um, ensure that the application successfully verifies the app. Um, if either the app is the wrong version or doesn't contain the necessary files, uh, it will fa fail the verification. So once you've uh, selected the app and you see it says verified there, you're going to want to select uh, your USB drive. So you can see mine is named High Sierra, as you can see right there. And uh, once you've gotten that selected, you can just go ahead and select Start Operation. It will warn you that all contents on the disk will be erased. Just click Yes. And then enter your password when prompted. All right, and once you've entered your password, the process will begin. So once this process is complete, it will take quite some time, especially if you're using a USB flash drive. Um, so once this process is complete, uh, I will show you what to do from there. All right, so once the process completes, you can go ahead and close out of the macOS High Sierra Patcher tool. Um, go ahead and eject your USB drive. And um, then you can just go ahead and reboot your machine and uh, boot off of the USB drive. Now, I'm actually going to be installing this on a different machine since I want to keep uh, this El Capitan installed intact on this computer. But uh, right here, I've got a uh, mid-2009 MacBook Pro, which is also an unsupported machine, of course. So um, I'm going to go ahead and connect the drive to this machine, and we'll go ahead and turn it on. So I'll just go ahead and hold down Option here. And once the drives come up, you're going to want to go ahead and select the OS X base system uh, USB drive. So once you select that, the drive should begin to boot. And uh, from there, you will begin the process of installing High Sierra. So uh, once this boots up, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right, so as you can see here, the OS X installer has booted on the machine. Now, as I mentioned earlier, or, uh, this is actually based on, or actually I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, this installer is actually based on the El Capitan installer. Now, the reason that is done is because there's a weird glitch with the High Sierra installer where it can't detect uh, the necessary packages uh, even though they're in the proper location. So uh, I did this workaround uh, to basically um, put the El Capitan installer image on a USB drive and then uh, copy the uh, High Sierra uh, packages on which will in in turn allow it to install High Sierra using the El Capitan installer. So that's exactly what's happening here. So I know it looks like uh, you're about to install El Capitan, but uh, in reality, you are actually installing High Sierra. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to the Utilities menu. Now, you only need to do this if you're planning on erasing the drive that you're going to install High Sierra on. Now, if you want to upgrade High Sierra on a current drive, you can just go through the installation as normal and skip this step. But since I am erasing the drive, I'm going to go to Disk Utility here. And we're going to want to select the partition to erase. And if you're formatting a whole drive, of course, you just click on the drive and click erase, just like you did uh, if you formatted your USB drive. So you're going to go ahead and select the drive here, select erase, ensure OS X Extended Journal is selected. And if you're formatting the drive, uh, that GUID partition table is selected as well. And go ahead and select erase. The process will begin here. Uh, once it's complete, select Done, close out of Disk Utility, and uh, just continue with the process. So I just agree, uh, select the drive that you want to install on, even if it already has uh, a copy of Sierra or something already on it and you didn't format it in Disk Utility. So go ahead and select it, and just select Continue, and the installation will proceed. So once this finishes, I will go ahead and resume the video and show you what to do from there. Alright, so once the installation completes, uh, you will now notice that your system will no longer boot into Mac OS. Now that is of course because you have not uh, run the post install patch yet. Um, so right now I'm just going to show you what you need to do to complete the process. So when you're at this screen, just go ahead and turn off the machine, like so. And 
turn it back on while holding down the option key once again. Now once you get to the boot menu, uh, you've actually got two options now. Uh, so you can either boot back off your OS X installer USB drive or your Mac OS uh, High Sierra USB drive, or you can boot off of the recovery partition that it will make for you. Um, this is of course an El Capitan recovery partition, uh, but it performs the exact same functions as a uh, normal High Sierra recovery partition would. And it also contains the post install patch uh, so you can either run it from that recovery partition without needing the USB drive, or you can just boot from the USB drive as I'm going to do now. So once that drive has uh, finished booting up, uh, I will go ahead and resume the video once again. Alright, so once the drive has finished booting, as you can see mine has, uh, now what you're going to want to do is just click in this window to make the mini bar show up, as you can see there, and then go up to Utilities and go down to Mac OS Post Install right there. So I uh, just select that, and uh, then the post install utility will open. So from here, you're just going to want to uh, take note of the detected model that it tells you right here. So in this case, this is a MacBook Pro 5,5. So all I'm going to do here is just select it from the list. It will automatically select the uh, necessary options uh, for this model, um, but you can also select the other ones if you desire to do so but uh, some of them are unnecessary for this machine, so I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, basically what you can do also is just click the little uh, info button next to each one, and uh, it will just explain a little bit about the patch and what it does, and uh, what machines it's for, if it's machine specific. So uh, yeah, you can do that, and once you've gotten the necessary option options selected, you can go ahead and select the volume that you installed macOS High Sierra on. So uh, I installed it on Macintosh HD, as you saw earlier. So we'll go ahead and select that, and just select Patch. And uh, once the patch is complete, all you have to do is select Reboot. And if for some reason when you reboot, something doesn't work, like your USB or whatnot, you can select uh, Force Cache Rebuild to uh, force the rebuilding of the Kex Cache. But normally that is not necessary, so in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and select Reboot. So you can see that it will uh, sit here for a few moments, rebuilding caches. And uh, once that's done, the system will automatically restart and should reboot back into Mac OS High Sierra. So uh, once this finishes and the system begins to boot, uh, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right, so as you can see, the machine has booted up and I've already gone through the uh, first time setup of it. So, uh, now you can see that this mid-2009 MacBook Pro is now running Mac OS High Sierra. So you can see that it is uh, the public beta 1 build, 17A291M. Um, we've got the 2.26 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, um, the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M video card, and uh, we've got 5 gigs of memory installed. So, that is how to install Mac OS High Sierra on an unsupported Mac. Hope you enjoyed this video.